Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome to January 2023's member update for the American Solidarity Party. I'm Shane Hoffman. I'm here with a fellow committee member, Marcos Lopez. And uh, first, let's go ahead and have you tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your background? Uh, what What are your passions? And how did you, what path did you take to get to the American Solidarity Party? Thanks, Shane, for having me on, uh, first of all. In terms of you know, who I am and, you know, kind of the spark notes version of me is uh, I, I'm based out of here in Tampa, Florida. I'm a husband, a uh, father uh, to two boys. Um, and I, uh, I, I came to the party because my Catholic faith really didn't seem to mix really well with either uh, the Republicans or the Democrats. It always felt like there was some sort of tension point or compromise that had to be made in order to cast my vote uh, or, do, or be a member of a certain party. Um, and through just being online and involved in, you know, various Facebook groups, uh, which are really big right now, I just got connected with people who, through mutual friends, knew party members. And then I got connected with those people. And after conversations and just kind of general chatting, I realized that the ASP is the party for me. Um, you know, I feel like the platform really encompasses my values and I, I know I don't have to hold my nose uh, whenever I, uh, you know, am voting or if I have the chance to vote for an ASP member uh, or ASP endorsed candidate. Uh, in terms of my, you know, background professionally, I, I work in marketing. Uh, I work uh, in a marketing firm and I manage a small team of customer service representatives. So my day in, day out life is how to optimize marketing for our clients, what messages are going to work, what messages aren't going to work. Um, and so that's kind of what I live and breathe 40 hours a week. Uh, outside of my 40 hours a week, again, I'm a husband and father. I'm involved in, um, you know, local volunteer efforts every once in a while. Um, but I'm largely involved in doing choral music for my church, which I really enjoy. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's pretty much, uh, that's the short word. Awesome. Uh, the the next question, uh, now that you're on the National Committee for the American Solidarity Party, I'm sure you have a, a an assigned role or at least a concentration. So could you let us know what some of your more official duties with the party are, what your area of responsibility is? Absolutely. So the portfolio I hold currently uh, is the media and marketing portfolio. So that involves any sort of media outreach, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, that also encompasses any other sort of marketing channels we would like to use in the future or, you know, we want to employ on a, you know, uh, on an as needed basis. So uh, basically, we, I oversee the consistent running of social media to have consistent, diverse content that, you know, uh, attracts engagement and, you know, creates discussion. Um, but also I'm in charge of, you know, using the budget in terms of maybe small one-off things or trying new things that we haven't tried before to see if they work. Ah, cool. And you say, you know, you were talking about your budget and trying different one-offs, different, uh, just different strategies. Uh, is there anything uh, people in the party can be looking forward to coming out of that portfolio in the next few months or in 2023 in general that you'd like to share at this time? Certainly. Yeah. So one of the, the bigger things that I that we just worked on and I just got um, passed at the most recent meeting was the purchase of a direct mail campaign. Uh, I, I feel like politics and direct mail just makes sense. Everyone else agrees. <laughs> and uh, I just felt it'd be really great to send some physical mailers out to current members, to lapsed members, to people who we know had have been interested or have expressed interest in the party before, uh, but for whatever reasons didn't re up their donation or, you know, uh, put, gave us their email but never actually joined. You know, those people we really want to reach out to because odds are they largely or entirely uh, agree with with what we stand for and what we're looking to do. And giving them that physical reminder is just a lot more effective than sending an email these days. You know, people get so bombarded with digital 
advertising that people have junk folders <laughs> in their email and promotions folders, and no one reads those things. Uh, mail's different. You open your mailbox and you've got to go through all of it. Um, and so I just think that'd be a helpful, you know, test, obviously running up toward our presidential uh, primary or to a general election where we're going to be running a candidate. I think it'd be a good, um, you know, way to, to, to test whether this is something we should be doing more often, um, because to my knowledge, we haven't done it a ton. No, I can't recall uh, a direct mailing from the party in the time I've been here. Yeah. Uh, before we go, do you have anything else you'd like to share with the party in closing or? Yeah, I mean, one of the things I definitely want to share is um, that I'm always available for people to reach out to me. Um, you, I'm involved in the Facebook group pretty heavily. So you can send me an email if you have any ideas, any suggestions, any questions. Um, the only other thing I wanted to um, encourage people to do is that uh, m way more important than what I do is just people to people engagement among members. You know, a direct mailer or me posting on Facebook or a, tw a tweet is not ever going to be as effective as members engaging with people who they feel would be at home in the party and really encouraging them to join. Um, th there's nothing more valuable than that. And I think it's really important um, that on a grassroots level, we're engaging with our friends, engaging with our family to encourage them to join, you know, the party that, that we feel is going to be best for them. Um, so that's what I would encourage you all to do, especially around the holidays. Um, you know, and, and now into the new year, it's a great time uh, to, to really get talking and get those conversations going. So thank you. Cool. Hey, thank you, Marcos. And I hope you have a happy new year. And I look forward to seeing uh, what's coming up in the next few months. Thank you. Thanks. You too, Shane. Hey.